everybody and welcome in to the WTNH weather slash sports studios. We've got the Sports Edge monitors up here, back here. My name is Kel State and I'm the executive producer of SportsEdge.com and this is the Sports Edge high school football championship preview and we're going to take you through all the games to the Class L championship game between number one Darian 13-1 and one, uh, after the playoffs heading in here and uh, Darian of course, beat New Canaan on Thanksgiving in a thriller. Uh, that game was one of the best games of the season that we've seen so far. And I think if Darien gets that done again, I think this game is going to be a great game again uh, for both teams. I think Darien has a chance again to knock off New Canaan. That was New Canaan's only loss of the season, as you can see uh, right there. Uh, New Canaan comes into this game. Their quarterback, Nick Cassione, has been outstanding all season long. Uh, been a great player for them. And uh, obviously out of that FCAC, FCAC has had a lot of success here in the playoffs. Uh, the team started out 3-0 and through the first three games of the uh, tournament. And Cassione has been absolutely outstanding. This New Canaan team hammered Farmington 46 to nothing uh, in the quarterfinals. So that should be really interesting to see what they do in the rematch against Darien. And take note up there on your uh, right-hand corner of your screen, 2.05 p.m. That's the start time in this game in Boyle Field in Stanford. So that game... Of course, going to be very interesting, and they moved it up because of the snow. The next game we're taking a look at, the Class M championship game between Brookfield. Brookfield has been on a heck of a run here. Uh, they've done a great job to get to 12-3 and in this championship game. They've got a great running game in Bobby Drysdale. 1,751 yards, 23 touchdowns on the season. They escaped with a 22-21 win over Bethel in the quarters. Uh, scored with under a minute to play in the semifinals to upset top-seeded Valley Regional. An outstanding Brookfield team, and I think if the weather is a factor in this game, you could look for Brookfield to run the ball much more. But unfortunately for them, they're going up against one of the best offenses in the state, uh, taking on number two, St. Joseph's. It was ridiculous what St. Joseph's did in those two games. They were just schooling kids right now. Scored 146 game, uh, points in those two games, the two playoff games against Ledger, and then in the semifinal game as they advanced to the championship, 13-2 and St. Joseph. And then the Class Double L Final, of course, the one everyone is looking forward to at 1.35 p.m. on Saturday at a root field at the campus of Central Connecticut State. Game time had to be moved back a little bit. Number four, Southington, came in 10-1 and one in the regular season, 12-1 and one right now. Uh, Stephen Barmore leads an explosive offense from Southington. He's been a great uh, player all season long. Defense has played really well as well. They've given up just 14 points to NFA in the first-round game. Uh, so they reached the championship game, uh, shutting out Ridgefield 45 nothing in the semifinals. And then Fairfield Prep, uh, Colton Smith, the dual threat quarterback, they've got a lot of threats on that offense, a lot of great players on that side of the ball for them. Outshot West Haven 29-28 in an offensive showdown in the semifinals. And this could be a Cinderella story for Coach Tom Shea, worst to first basically in a few years uh, if he gets it done at Fairfield Prep. I know everyone We'll be very excited for what's going on there. And I know you're very excited to have watched such a great high school football championship preview show. Enjoy the games, everybody. We'll be here. Plenty of updates on SportsEdge.com. Of course, all your highlights, all your reaction from post-game, we'll have interviews, everything you could want, everything you could ever dream of on SportsEdge.com. And, of course, the monitors right here as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Cal Staten. We'll see you next time.